Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the Redivis RT5 radio. We'll get to it right after this. Okay, now the items you get in the box, you get a mic slash earpiece, the owner's manual, belt clip, charger, wall ward for the charger, antenna, wrist strap, and the radio itself. At the time of this video, the radio itself is going for $24.99. I also received the programming cable, and at the time of this video, the cable is going for $6.99. Okay, a couple of features about this. It is a VHF UHF radio. The frequencies it covers, 136 to 174 megahertz, 400 to 520 megahertz. It has 128 channel capacity. The output power, they say, is seven watts. The battery is an 1800 milliamp hour. And it can either come, as you see here, red or in black. The dimensions for the radio are 103 by 58 by 26 millimeters or 4.06 by 2.28 by 1.02 inches. Okay, starting with the left side of the radio, you have a call button, monitor button, and the push to talk. On the top, you have the flashlight, antenna, and volume power knob. On the right side, you have the Kenwood style two prong plug for programming cables as well as microphones. You have this adapter for charging the battery, battery release on the bottom. And we'll throw the belt clip on later. And they have this little loop, I think it's for the hand wrist strap. Using the monitor button, a quick press turns the flashlight on. Second press gives you strobe, third turns it off. Using the call button, Quick press, gives you the radio station. Right with the, right with the beep. And for the menu, standard Baofeng affair. You have 41 different selections. You start off with your squelch. If you want to change something, you just hit menu again. It'll drop the arrow down to the lower. Then you can pick which one you want. Hit it again to lock it in. And you can change your step. Is where you train your check your transmit power on menu item number two high medium and low and we will get to testing how the power rating is on each of these three you have vox if you want wide or narrow if you want your beep on or off and i'll turn that one off timeout timer Tend to do 120 seconds. This gives you your CTCSS, DCS. You can choose if you want English, Chinese, or off. We'll stick with off. And you can choose how you want it to uh, be displayed. If you want it to show frequency, the channel number, or the name, we'll do name. And then we'll do frequency for channel B. And then that gives you your shift for the repeater if you're positive or negative. This is where you put in your offset uh, frequency. If you want to delete a channel, you go to menu item number 28. You can do that there. And this changes the color of the LED, whether you want it purple for receive, transmit, or standby shows you your band if you want a Roger beep on or off and the last one number 40 is how you reset the whole radio okay to program a simplex frequency into this radio turn the power on make sure you're in VFO which is this top left button enter the frequency you want we're going to do the calling frequency 146520. And basically for that one, that's all there is. Then go to menu, and which is going to be menu item number 27. Hit menu again, pick where you want to store. Hit menu again, and now you're saved. Exit out. Switch over to VFO. And you can see the number two right here. We are stored the national calling frequency. Now you cannot put a name tag in here unless you're using the software from, say, Chirp. 
and we'll do that a little later on. Okay, to store in a repeater, you're going to again go to VFO, put in your frequency number, in this case 145220. Then go into menu. First menu item you're going to want is 13. That gives you your CTCSS. Hit menu. Go up to the one you want. In this case, we want 103.5. Hit menu again to save it. Then we're going to go up to number 25. That's going to give you your shift. In this case, we want minus. Hit menu to lock it in. Then we're going to go up to 26 for the offset. Since this is 2 meter, 0006, make sure you put in all the zeros. Lock it in. Go up to 27 to pick which channel you want to save it as. In this case, we're going to do 15. Lock it in. Exit out. Then you go back and you can see over here we're in 15. Let's see if we can't hit the repeater. There you go, and that's all there is to it. And again, you cannot put the name tag in here until you're on a computer using Chirp or some other software. And we'll get to that next. Okay, once you get the Chirp software all loaded up on your computer and opened up, Make sure you plug the programming cable into the radio and turn the power on. When you're done with that, go up here to the left corner where it says radio. Click on that. Go to download from radio. You're going to want to make sure that you have the correct COM port. In this case, we have COM10. The vendor will be Redivis, and the model is the RT5 TriPower. Hit OK. You can give you some warnings and instructions, and then the cloning begins. Okay, first thing you're going to do to program in a repeater, well, we're going to do simplex first, national calling, 146.520. You don't have to worry about any of the tones since this is simplex. You have limited number of characters you can use. And you can change your power over here to the right. You can choose any of the three, high, medium, or low. Now, once you got that in, you go to your next channel you want to use. This will be one of the local repeaters, which is 145220. Enter the name, which in this case is Clara. Make sure you have tone. Then choose your CTCSS to code. In this case, it would be 103.5. It automatically puts the shift direction in, and it also gives you the offset. And it's again set to high. Now once you have all the repeaters that you want in there, you can go over to settings. And this is where you can change basically all the stuff that's in the menu. Move that down to three. Backlight timeout, we'll do 10 seconds. Yeah, maybe 15. Timeout timer, I typically like 120 seconds. And you can have for your A and B channel, you can either have set to channel, name, or frequency. For channel A, I'm going to do name, and I'll leave B at frequency. Then you can change the color of the light for your standby, receive, and transmit. When that's done. Go to advanced settings. And this gives you some of your Fox stuff which I don't ever mess with. Other settings, you can change your power on message. And you can also put the limits for VHF and UHF. Your work mode settings. This will tell you what each frequency is going to, when you go to VFO. It'll automatically default to those. You can change your radio. I have mine set to 95.5 KLOS in Los Angeles. Then you have DTMF and service settings. 
Once you have everything all set up the way you want it, go back to radio, upload to radio. Again, check your COM port, hit OK. And then once you've written everything to the radio, you can save it. And it'll automatically give you a, uh, the radio type and the date that you did this. This is showing 2021, December 23rd. Once you've got what you want, you got it where you want it, go ahead and hit save. And that's all there is to it for using Chirp to program the Redovis RT5. Okay, the first uh, power level we're going to do, we're going to do low. And we're getting about 2.3 watts. Now switch to medium. On medium, we're getting 3.4 watts. Those two aren't too bad. Now let's go to high, and we're only getting four. Now this, according to the website, is supposed to be a seven watt radio. Personally, I'd like to see that a lot closer. Now let's try 440. Okay, on 440, again, we're on low. And we're getting almost four tenths of a watt. Now let's try medium. Medium, we're getting 2.8 watts. Now let's go to high. Wow, and we're that's still climbing. We're getting five, about between four and a half to five watts of power on 440 on high. So 440 is definitely a lot better than the two meter. Despite the fact that this radio doesn't hit the seven watts as advertised, I still think it's a pretty solid radio. It's a great radio to keep in the car. It's a good starter radio. And if you have young hams, it's perfect for them. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.